Amid a series of diplomatic talks, Russia and Belarus began 10 days of joint military drills north of Ukraine's border. Ukraine has been swift in its response, with President Vladimir Zelensky calling them a psychological pressure. One of the most threatening elements in Moscow's arsenal of military intimidation, Russia has moved up 30,000 troops, two battalions of S-400 surface-to-air missile systems and numerous fighter jets into Belarus for joint training exercises with the Belarusian army. Satellite imagery shows much of the equipment has been moved to locations close to the border with Ukraine. In fact, the two countries have carried out military exercises even before the drills were scheduled to start. Armoured personnel, carriers, mortars, grenade, launchers and small arms were used during the paratrooper exercises. Footage aired by Belarusian state television showed paratroopers shooting at targets and using artillery at night. President Putin has said that he will remove the 30,000 troops from Belarus after the drills are over. From the border with Belarus, it is only about 75 kilometers down a highway to Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. There is also threat from the south, where Russia annexed the Crimean Peninsula in 2014, and from the east, where Moscow has massed troops close to the Russia-Ukraine border. In response to Russian exercises, Ukraine's army will also conduct military drills from today till the 20th of February near the Ukrainian northern border. Meanwhile, the mayor of Kiev admitted that while there was no panic in the capital, it could not be denied that people were worried. We didn't have a panic in uh, our hometown, uh, we didn't have a panic in our country, but we understand we are gas friendly, we are friendly people, we are friendly nation, we are not aggressive to anyone, peaceful country. But if uh, somebody wants, uh, somebody will be aggressive to, uh, to our country, we don't have another choice. We have to defend our vision. The White House, meanwhile, called the military exercises in Russia escalatory in nature. I think as we look at the preparation for these military exercises, again, we see this as certainly more of an escalatory, not a de-escalatory action uh, as it relates to those troops uh, and the military exercises. This is happening at the border of, of uh, at the border as well. Uh, so uh, that is certainly concerning to us, but I wouldn't make a prediction of what it means in terms of invasion. Now, for more on this, we are being joined by our correspondent, Julia Chapman from Moscow. Julia, thank you for joining us. Russia and Belarus have commenced the joint military exercises. What can you tell us about these drills? Well, as you've said, uh, these are very substantial drills uh, with many Russian troops taking part of them uh, in them, upwards of 30,000 by some estimates, a very strong contingent of the Russian military, the largest in Belarus since the end of the Cold War, when, of course, these were all one country under the Soviet Union. So certainly there are concerns about the numbers of troops taking part in these drills. Uh, they compare with uh, those that took place last year where there were joint exercises between Russia and Belarus. This is about three times the size of that Russian military contingent. Uh, Russia, the Russian military, the Russian Ministry of Defense says that these are simply preparatory exercises. They will be uh, simulating a possible uh, attack against Belarus, uh, and these are not an offensive uh, set of drills. But certainly there are concerns in the West uh, that the capabilities being built up in Belarus right now could also pose a threat to Ukraine. Right. Also, just to mention here, President Putin had said that the troops will be moved after the drills. But like I mentioned, Ukraine has called the psychological pressure and is set to start its own drills. How do you assess this? Well, indeed, Ukraine is taking steps to protect itself, as it would under these circumstances. Uh, Russia is very insistent that there will be no invasion of Ukraine. It says these drills were long planned and they do not pose any kind of threat to Belarus's neighbor. Uh, but, of course, th that view from the West is that there could be a, a threat from Russia. Uh, it doesn't take Moscow at its word when it says it isn't planning to invade Ukraine because we have seen a very significant buildup of troops on the Russian border with Ukraine and now in Belarus as well. But Russia is insistent 
that these troops will be leaving on the 20th of February. These drills only expected to last for 10 days, although the military equipment and troops, the soldiers have already been there for about a week. Uh, Russian uh, Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu was in Belarus last week inspecting the troops ahead of the active phase getting underway today. Uh, but Russia maintains that it has no plans to invade Ukraine and says these are simply defensive exercises. Right. And also, as you know, this comes after the meet between French President Macron and President Putin. Moscow military buildup still remains a cause of concern, like you mentioned. How do you see this impacting the situation and efforts to de-escalate tensions? Well, the dialogue is still ongoing, of course, after Emmanuel Macron on Monday. We now have the UK Foreign Secretary Liz Truss in Moscow holding talks as we speak with her Russian counterpart, Sergei Lavrov. Uh, Western nations still trying very hard to engage Moscow diplomatically. And Moscow is continuing to show willingness to hold these d talks aimed at de-escalating the crisis. But Russia's agenda is slightly different. Uh, it hasn't accepted that there is any threat to Ukraine. What Russia wants to talk about instead is is its security concerns. It's put forward uh, lists of demands that it has for the US and NATO members uh, to promise never to include Ukraine in NATO membership, to not station offensive weapons in Eastern Europe near Russia's borders. Those are the primary concerns for Moscow. Russia sees uh, the situation on the European continent as being a threat to its own security and it wants the situation to be reversed. Right. Julia, thank you so much for joining us with all your inputs on this. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.